What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review today from Star Wars The Black Series. We are taking a look at Echo from The Bad Batch. We're one step closer to completing the extended team of The Bad Batch now. Just need to get my hands on Omega. Super stoked to have this figure. I gotta give a big shout out and thank you to Dan, aka Darth Educator, for hooking me up with this and Ahsoka. They found some extras in stores and sent them my way. So thank you very much, dude. I greatly appreciate that. And this Echo looks great. It's in the brand new Galaxy packaging. You can see it is the deeper red there for the Bad Batch. This figure does have a little bit of the concept art syndrome going on here. We get a entire accessory that we didn't see a single time in the show, but honestly, I'm cool with that. The mural art on the side of the package also has Echo with this arm appendage that we didn't see in the show on it. We have his bio on the back here if you want to pause it and read it now. We also have a more zoomed in shot of the mural art. Echo is number 11 in the Bad Batch line. We've got a barcode at the bottom, logo on the side, nothing else on the package here. So we're going to get this figure open. We'll take a look at the accessories and then the figure itself. First up here, we do get a clone blaster pistol cast in a more grayish plastic this time around but the same pistol we've seen time and time again and there are no paint apps on it but hey it looks nice and here is the arm appendage that we did not see in the show expertly painted some really nice silver details on this you can see there's also a little bit of black paint on there as well really curious if we'll see this maybe in season two maybe they'll reincorporate it back into echo's arsenal but for now, we can only just speculate on what this does. It has a little peg hole right there. So I would assume maybe it shot something, but obviously it looks like it could be grabbing something as well. Maybe a multifaceted piece of equipment here. And it does actually detach as well, so you can separate it. But yeah, that's a little fun, cool bonus accessory here. Then we also get Echo's helmet here which you can see that yes, it is separated a little bit there. So it kind of just fits around his head, but it is nicely detailed. We got the 99 there on the top, a little bit of red paint there in the mouth grill, but some clean black paint on the visor. And it just looks pretty damn nice. And putting on the helmet seems to be pretty simple. You just kind of place it over his head like so. Not too bad, but I could definitely see, okay, it's maybe supposed to fit over a little bit more. It is definitely a little bit of a struggle to try and get this clasped back on here. The head is also not easily removable, but from the front, it does look pretty much fine. But yeah, I'm, I'm struggling there. Let me know if anyone else is having the same issues with the back of the helmet here. And last but not least, we've got Echo's backpack as well, uniquely sculpted here and featuring some accurate paint app details, a little bit of red there on the top and this nice little bronzy gold color for this grill here. That looks really nice and it just pegs in like all the others. So we do get a nice little group of accessories here with the figure, pretty much what you need for Bad Batch Echo. But now let's go ahead, put them on the rotating base and take a look at the figure. All right, and here is Echo out of the packaging, looking absolutely fantastic here on the rotating base. Another banger for the Bad Batch line here. We pretty much knew that was guaranteed. All of the Bad Batch figures so far have just been absolutely fantastic, and I can tell you already that Echo is another one of those as well. The details that are present are appreciated and look pretty accurate to the show here. That photo reel head sculpt there just looking absolutely spot on to a realistic version of Echo. There's a lot of details to go over on this figure, so let's not waste any more time. We're gonna go ahead, take him off the stand, and get a closer look. All right, and just take a look at this epic head sculpt here. It looks so fantastic. They nailed like the sort of sunken cheek, almost zombified look that Echo has. But now in Bad Batch, he definitely looks a little bit more regenerated. And I think this figure just nails a more realistic live action interpretation of what Echo would look like. We've got some really nice silver bits there on the head, very cleanly applied. 
And we also have the sort of cybernetic headpiece here, similar to what Lobot has, but now on Echo. And then moving down to his armor here, we've got the skull and a little bit of silver paint throughout some unpainted sculpted details in there as well as to be expected with all of the bad batch figures we also have the sort of data splicing arm here which you can see i only put it in that accessory piece once and the paint is already chipping off of it so look out for that but it's got a little bit of red paint on there and it looks really nice and the soft plastic comma here is executed well there's some really nice sculpted details here along this red piece here. And of course there's tons of pouches and weapon storage here for Echo's blaster as well. And some more pouches, tons of stuff on his comma there. And here are the legs, which are just your typical clone armor legs, which is different from the other members of the Bad Batch here. Echo wears more of traditional clone trooper armor and you can see that in the legs here. We do have some updated knee pads though, unfortunately, they are glued to the top of the leg for some reason. I don't know why they keep doing that, but Echo is another victim of that. But the details are here. Little bit of paint, great photo reel. Everything seems to be in place. It looks really nice. And even more sculpted details on the arms that I'm catching here, just taking a once over on the figure. Yeah, the details are off the charts for Echo. He looks great. And now we'll go ahead and see how he moves. All right, helmet off. Echo can look up very far. Can look down a decent amount as well. We get full rotation, side to side. Tons of attitude from Echo here, very important. And with the helmet on, can look up about that far. Can look down about this far. Still a great range of motion there. Of course, rotate all the way around and side to side as well. His shoulders do move out very far. You can see even kind of scrunching up there with the soft shoulder pads, but they do rotate around. And he does have butterfly joints along with a single jointed elbow here that gives you a little more than 90 degrees. No rotation on the stick part, but actually we do have bicep swivel right here. Neat. And for the other arm, we do have a single jointed elbow that gives you more than 90 degrees. And this is unfortunately the clone grip hand, so it rotates around and has a horizontal hinge and technically no trigger finger. I wish they would have given us a new sculpted hand, but I understand that they also had to sculpt some new stuff for this figure as well. So that's rather unfortunate, but I have seen people take a little X-Acto knife and separate the finger and it works pretty well, but... I don't know if I'm brave enough to do that with this figure just yet. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But otherwise, so far, the articulation is on par with modern Black Series figures as to be expected. Let's see, ab crunch going forward, a decent range, especially for a Black Series figure. And back, we actually get quite a bit as well. We do have rotation at the waist and side to side. And for the legs here, they can kick up really far, but in classic clone trooper leg fashion, you have to utilize the thigh swivel to achieve this and it's crooked from the side there. As far as the splits go, we still get pretty nice range there despite the soft plastic comma. Kickback is still good, thigh swivel, a single jointed knee that gives you more than 90 degrees here and has swivel. And then the feet moving down decently far, moving up really far and having ankle pivot and peg holes. So yeah, so far here, Echo is on point with the rest of the members of the Bad Batch, which is to be expected. Great paint app details, great sculpt details, and some really nice articulation here. Definitely makes this another solid entry into the Black Series. So now let's go ahead and see how he scales. First up, we've got Hunter and Wrecker, then Tech and Crosshair, followed by Imperial Crosshair, and the Elite Squad Trooper. And last for the Black Series, we have the Bad Batch Captain Rex and Arc Trooper Echo. But let's put in one quick group shot so far. Can't wait to add Omega to the mix. Moving on to the Bandai model kits, we have the Mandalorian and the Shadow Storm Trooper. And our imports here, the SH Figure Arts Tank Pilot and the Mafex First Order Storm Trooper. 
And so there you have it. There was my review for the Bad Batch version of Echo. Another fantastic entry into the Black Series. Another great example of how good this line can truly be. And I'm happy to have another member of the team. Only one more team member left for me. And then I will have the complete Bad Batch crew. I'm very happy that Hasbro got all of the team members out to us relatively quickly and we didn't have to wait too long for them. Echo here has some great sculpt work, paint app details, accessories, and articulation, so really it fires on all cylinders. I would say this is definitely an essential piece of the collection, especially if you're a fan of the Bad Batch or Clone Troopers in general. You know you gotta have this one for the shelf. And if you enjoyed my review, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. If you'd like to support us directly, for 99 cents a month, we do offer a channel membership where you get a custom Clone Trooper name badge that changes based on how long you are a member of the Basement Dweller Army and some custom emojis that you can use on our videos and in our live streams. Special thank you to our current channel members. Your continued support is truly amazing. And thank you to everyone else out there for watching, liking, subscribing, all of that good stuff. You all are truly appreciated here. I'm Nate from Out of the Basement. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.